So we've talked about Apeshit Alpha and Apeshit Cuts. Even the original Apeshit Untamed are all really cool pre-workouts that you can mix and match between for different effects. But now that Apeshit Pumps is here, if you're looking to add more of a pump product to your stack, you can do that without all the stims. So obviously Apeshit Cuts brings in the thermogenic and the, the sweating and all that. Apeshit Alpha was more of a testosterone or general health move with a big kick behind it. It's got that Yohimbi bark extract at quite a dose. The Untamed is a kick itself, but Pumps is one of our favorite ones so far and for a couple different reasons. We're going to explore that in this video today. So, ironically, we've gotten this far into the apeshit line, and I actually want to take a step back for this video and talk a little bit about the meaning of primeval. Recently, I'd been talking about primate, primeval, and I was just kind of playing with the words in my head, and I started to look up the definitions of them. And primeval, it does point in a couple different directions, but one of the big things, when I when I called to confirm this with primeval, they, they kind of agreed with, with this meaning, is that it's meaning necessities, core needs and necessities. And that's actually what we've been talking about a lot with primeval over the last year, is a return to their roots of just providing what you need and knowing exactly what they're consumers are looking for and needing in their stacks and so i find that actually really cool with the ape shit line because ape shit was originally part of the untamed line uh not under primeval's actual uh company but what's really cool about this is that it really does play well with the name primeval because these each of these products each contain bare necessities of what different types of consumers are going to be looking for they don't go super far in on kitchen sink formulas and ingredients that might have competition for different uh, receptors or pathways. And so you can very easily put together a stack with these products that can fill out your needs. And Apeshit Pumps is no different in that thought process. You've got literally five active ingredients here that are very specific for different pathways. And it's gonna give you a great pump without having to give you tons of ingredients, high cost of goods, and possibly overlap in mechanisms. So you guys know where we start from the top here. We're gonna, we're gonna go from our citrulline at top down to the smaller ingredients and talk about each one and what it'll do for you. So off the top, we've got four grams of citrulline in the two scoop dosage here. Uh, you know, what, what I'll normally kind of do is like one scoop of cuts with one scoop of pumps or one scoop of alpha with one scoop of pumps. So if you do use one scoop, you'll be getting half as much. But for the purpose of this video, I'm assuming you're coming here just for this product. So we're gonna talk about the full dose of this. In another video, I'll probably consider the combinations between them and we'll be talking about the one scoop dosages there but as always with price well we talk about the full scoop the full serving here because well that's what you're looking for so you get four grams of l-citrulline now the clinical dosage for l-citrulline starts at three grams so four grams is above that it's a great dosage there have been brands that have gone as high as 10 12 grams and there is data to support that if that's what you're looking for but in this case we're talking about that base necessity of what is going to give you blood flow and with citrulline it starts at three grams so i think four grams is a great dosage for many years a lot of brands were using four grams and i kind of applaud primeval for going with just that straight up look you need four grams we're going to be four grams here obviously if you combine with this with some other products you might get more citrulline in there but in terms of ape shit pumps if you're taking two scoops here you're gonna get four grams now citrulline is really cool because it converts to arginine in the body and provides your body with more arginine than if you had consumed arginine itself there's a lot of different studies on citrulline obviously because it's a very popular ingredient uh six grams of citrulline has been compared to a full dosage of nitrosagene uh cit citrulline is a very widespread ingredient it has gone up in pricing recently, so Primeval staking their claim on citrulline here really does mean they believe in the ingredient because they could have gone for something else that's more stable in pricing and probably cheaper, but they believe in the ingredient. And honestly, so do we. So moving forward into beta alanine here, uh, this is going to be a generic beta alanine. Since Carnison lost the patent, I agree a lot with the usage of just straight up beta alanine. It's an ingredient that's going to help you deliver longer sets, more reps, more workload, more work capacity per workout, which is going to lead to better hyper 
hypertrophy. Now, there's no direct uh, connection between beta alanine and muscle mass, but if you are training in higher volume, if you are adding in reps to sets, if you're adding in more workload to each workout, that's going to progressively overload your body and cause more hypertrophy. The beta alanine is the rate limiter when it comes to creating car uh, carnosine in the body. Carnosine is created in the body from beta alanine and L histidine. L histidine is very abundant in the body. We don't really need much more of that. Beta alanine is the rate limiter here. So giving more of that's going to allow your body to create more of that. It's been studied as low as 600 milligrams, as high as 6.4 grams. The nice thing about this is that it's a loaded ingredient. You're going to want to take this over time to research saturation point in your body. Now, this is the ingredient that's going to make you tingly. So if you're taking this product, expect some paresthesia. Your face is going to tingle. Your skin is going to tingle. You may get a little bit red, but it's not like a nice and flush or anything like that. Some people like that. Some people don't. Note that if you're going to use it for a while, you're eventually going to get used to it and it's going to stop happening. Now, the original Ape Shit uh, pre-workout has 750 milligrams of Agmatine. Here we go with a whole gram, which is a nice dosage for Agmatine, honestly. Agmatine is an arginine metabolite, which works as an arginase inhibitor, which is really nice because arginase inhibitors often are used in the form of norvaline and other stuff that people don't really like. There's been some reports of it being neurotoxic and agmatine is a completely safe alternative. Now, like I said, citrulline is going to cause the body to create arginine and arginase is an enzyme that breaks down that arginine. So an arginase inhibitor here in agmatine sulfate is going to help that arginine stick around in the body much longer and be more beneficial to our body. So here you're getting a little one-two punch. We're creating more arginine or making it last longer in the body so we can then reap the benefits of more nitric oxide. There's also some mind boosting effects it's a nice novel neurotransmitter that has some benefits for focus but again i'm really looking at this for those pump benefits what's really nice about that pump benefit is that that arginine it's protecting boosts nitric oxide synthase and endothelial cells so it's more of a defensive play here as well there's a lot of stuff going on with just a few five ingredients here now getting into taurine we got a full gram of it here and if you watch any of my pre-workout videos you know i'm a huge fan of taurine Torine has an entire meta-analysis on just how beneficial it is for overall athletes. Literally, researchers have shown anywhere from one to six grams has beautiful benefits across the entire spectrum. Starting at one gram is what we got here. Again, got the necessities. We're giving you what you need. We're not going wild with it. It's an awesome just what you need product. Now we're getting added endurance here. We're getting a lot of osmolite activities. It's going to help with hydration. You get a bunch of indirect discussions because of the added endurance, kind of like beta alanine before, giving you more work capacity for your training. Dorian also helps limit oxidative stress, as with a lot of beneficial sports supplement ingredients. Also gives a little bit of nitric oxide production, cognitive support. Overall, you really get a lot of hydration and endurance uh, benefits here. But there's a bunch of other things there that we can add on because... Torian's got a lot of stuff going for it. Now, lastly, we've got pomegranate extract here. And this is going to be probably the least flashy ingredient here, but definitely a very useful one. We've got 300 milligrams of it. Now, in the realm of pumps, pomegranate extract is going to be extremely supportive of nitric oxide. It's got a reliably low blood pressure. It's going to help deliver more blood flow to muscles. And this is also a thing that works both short-term and long-term. It's going to help lower blood pressure and drive blood flow right now. But pomegranate extract is also a powerful product for lowering blood pressure long term. So studies have shown that pomegranate extract both significantly lowers vascular inflammation and increases plasma nitrate and nitrite levels. This is going to be due to its richness in poly enols. That's going to induce enos production. That's going to produce enos expression. Lastly, a cool thing about pomegranate extract outside of the pump realm is that it actually increase, increases recovery and reduces soreness after training. Not that we don't enjoy soreness from training, but it'll help you at least get back in the gym quicker. Again, increasing frequency, workload uh, capacity, things that are going to help with hypertrophy indirectly. All in all, each ingredient here is direct for increasing pump, increasing blood flow, and giving you great workout. This is the kind of thing that you could put alongside a stimulant pre-workout and get more out of it in that way, or for a late night session, or if you just don't like stims before you go in for your pump, you could take it on its own. Again, Primeval makes a really cool line of apeshit products that you could mix and match between. Obviously, it also works with a lot of other products in the industry. If you are a fan of other types of stim products, you could add pumps to that as well. In another video, I'll go through all the different combinations of cuts, alpha, tests, uh, untamed, and pumped. But I'm also thinking there's probably something coming soon that maybe increases all of these things together. But, you know, a man can dream from from Primeval, right? Anyways, I hope this was helpful. I hope it was informative and educational. A couple quick tips on different ingredients in pump that might make it applicable for your training. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them below. I'd love to talk to you about the product or Primeval in general. As always, guys, I do have to say I got this product for free. We do have a business affiliate relationship with Primeval. So that's why we get these products for free. And we have a coupon code that can help you save some at checkout. As always, guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.